What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful Venice Beach, California. Muscle Beach. I ain't got no muscles, but uh, uh. like TLC. What about your friends? Is that TLC? Today's transmission is the three reasons why most people fail at business, their goals, their dreams. Reason number one is a lack of focus. So many people are spread so thin. They have so many ideas for doing this and doing that, and they spread themselves so thin that there is no energy, no vitality left for the thing that is burning on their heart, the thing that is handwritten on their soul. And so I find that a lot of people come to me for coaching, whether it be for business or personal stuff. And the biggest thing that we have to jump over is letting go of the 5,000 ideas that they have that they want to do all at one time. If you look at anybody who's been successful at anything, you will find a formula. And that formula is they do one thing really well and so that one thing creates space and room for everything else. Thing number two for why most people fail at business, their dreams, whatever the case may be, is the word over. They overthink, they overplan, they overanalyze. So many of us get so caught in our heads that we are overthinking everything, trying to get it right, trying to get it perfect, over planning, over analyzing, and what ends up happening is, is that they take no action. And so one of the solutions to this whole thing is to get clear. The vision must be clear and you must take action on it. Clear and simple. If you look at Bill Gates, one of the richest men on earth right now. Bill Gates did one thing. That dude said, I'm gonna create a computer. And then, after he created that, he said, I'm gonna make software. And then after he did that, he just kept doing one thing over and over again, and that one thing created space and room for everything else. So, make sure the vision is simple and clear, and you take action on it. Reason number three why so many people fail at business is they dream too small or too big. Now, I'm gonna clarify that even more. Some people are way too practical. Their, their, their dreams, what they want in life, what they envision for themselves, is like that. Why? Because from what they've seen in their environment, what they've seen from their parents, what they've seen in, from their friends, they have a story about themselves that says, I'm not smart enough, I'm not tall enough, I don't know enough people, who, me? How dare I? And we end up with this imposter syndrome. Now I know this personally because I have lived with this for so long. Being placed in special education classes when I was younger, I made up a story that I wasn't as smart as everyone else. Because of the dyslexia that I experienced, I made up a story that because I can't read like everybody else or read as fast as everyone else, that I don't belong in general society. I can't truly be successful if I am dyslexic. And so what would happen is, is I went to college and I did all these things, but I cheated my way through college because I didn't believe in myself. And I always had this sort of underlying feeling that they would eventually figure me out. They would eventually figure out that I was this imposter. Through years of working on that limiting belief and chopping it down and telling my ego that that's some bullshit. The truth of the matter is that we are all geniuses. We all have some special talent or gift that we came to give to the planet. And our job is to unleash that talent and give it away. Two, so many people, they dream so big and jump so far without really understanding that yes, you kinda can do anything you want to a certain degree. And I think that some of us dream way too big because it's so big, we don't actually think we can do it. The solution is somewhere in the middle, but even closer to big, but not way too big. One of the best things you can do in business is create incremental wins, small wins, because what happens is those wins stack on top of each other. Our habits, Aristotle said it best when he said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. And so our habits create our reality. And so if you win over and over and over and over again, making your bed, having your juice, drinking your water, studying, doing these things, this is how you win in life. Welcome.
<laughs> Venice Beach, let's get it. All right, y'all. I hope you receive value from this video. If you are new to the tribe and you're on YouTube, I ask you to click subscribe. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, please leave a comment about which one of these three ways in which people fail has either gotten in your way or you have been bigger than it. And please share this message if it inspires you in any way. Blessings and blessings. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love.